This is Droid Doc. Um, this is going to be my updated video on how to install multi-ROM on your Nexus 7 so you can flash uh, other ROMs onto your Nexus 7 and the internal stock ROM is not touched. Now I have had more uh, success with leaving a stock ROM for your internal so if you've already flashed a different ROM onto your Nexus 7 uh, like if you want to install, install Ubuntu for example um, I would go ahead and restore your stock ROM that you already had and then we'll have a stock ROM for an internal and then we'll be able to put additional ROMs on there as well. Alright, so what we're going to do here is first thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, Android SDK. Now I made another video that I actually deleted and the reason is is because I didn't really explain this process and uh, this is pretty important. Uh, we don't have to get all into Android SDK and ADB and stuff like that if you don't know much about it, but we do at least need to download it. So I'll put the link in the description. Uh, actually, all I did was search Android SDK in Google, and the first link, I'm going to click that. So then we need to go over here to download the SDK ADT bundle for Windows, and then it tells you all this stuff I've read. And I have a 64-bit system, so I'll, I would be installing that, and then I would download now I've already done that okay so the file that's going to be downloaded is going to be the ADT bundle uh, you may have to right click it on your desktop and then click uh, unzip or extract here now it's going to be it's going to bring up a folder here this is the ADT bundle windows. Uh, we're going to go into that and what we want to do here is this SDK folder actually needs to be in the C drive. So we want to go ahead and bring that SDK folder right over to the C drive. Oh my, no that didn't do right. SDK folder to C drive. There we go. We're going to let that go ahead and copy over. Okay, so once we're done moving that to the C drive, we're going to have a C drive and our SDK folder is down here for some reason. So SDK and then platform tools is where we will be bringing our .img file from multi-ROM, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Okay, so with uh, Multi-ROM, here's the website, and we need to download th two things. Now, if you want a KXEC hard boot um, for like Ubuntu, for example, you'll need to download three different things. Uh, really, you can download all three, and it's not going to affect uh, the way Multi-ROM works. So it, it still works the same regardless. So what we need to do is we need to grab these three files. Let's just download all three. Uh, we'll need to grab the multi-ROM version 6, this first link here. We'll need to download the .img for us to flash in fastboot. The zip will be flashed in recovery, in twerp recovery. And then the multi-ROM.img is going to be flashed in fastboot. And then I'm actually on 4.2.2, so I will actually flash this kernel as well. Now, this is a Kexec uh, hardboot patch and that makes it possible to boot Ubuntu, for example, which is an African word if you didn't know that. Uh, if you're on a CM10, you would need to download this one. 
if you're on stock 4.1, which I'm not sure why you haven't update, upgraded yet, but not a big deal if you haven't, you download the first one. So three zips, this one, the top one, the middle one, and whichever kernel uh, suits what you have. All right, so once we have those, um, I already have the zip on my Nexus 7, so you need to actually connect your Nexus 7 to your computer if you haven't already, and drag the multi-ROM version 6 uh, zip over to that. Uh, the .img I have not downloaded on this computer, so I'm going to go ahead and download that now. If you haven't done so, go ahead and drag that .zip over to your Nexus 7. Alright, let's go ahead and save that file. Okay, so I've got my .img, and what I'm going to do with this .img file is I actually want to put that, you go to C drive, SDK, and we're going to put that in our platform tools folder. So that's the file that I was telling you we were going to place in there. So let's, gonna, let's go ahead and drag that over, and you see that's been drug over, so we're good there. Okay... So again, the uh, .zip, that goes to your Nexus 7. We're going to flash that using twerp recovery. The .img, that goes to C drive, SDK, platform tools. That's going to go in your platform tools folder. Okay. And let's see, let's go ahead and hop over to the Nexus. And let's head to twerp recovery to go ahead and flash that zip. If you have not unlocked your bootloader and you have not been rooted, of course you cannot do this. Okay, so I'm going to go quick boot and go straight to recovery. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and select install. I'm going to find the multi-ROM version 6 and 7 sign.zip. I'm going to tap that, and I'm going to go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. Okay, so that says that was successful. Let's go ahead and reboot the system. Now the next thing we're going to see is the multi-ROM screen because we just flashed it. But there's still one more step to making that final. Okay, now you won't see Paranoid Android and, and this. That's because I've had multi-ROM before and I'm reinstalling it. The only thing you'll see is internal. And if you can see that. Okay, so on this screen what we need to do is we need to go up here to miscellaneous and we want to go ahead and reboot to bootloader so go ahead and select that we're going to take the tablet into the bootloader where we can do the final step okay so that's done now where we drug that .img into our platform tools folder we want to go ahead and hold shift in the window we want to go ahead and hold shift and right click and when you hold shift and right click it's going to give you the option to open command window here let's go ahead and do that and go back to the multi-rom screen and you'll see if you go up the page a little bit it tells you the actual format that we need to use to flash. So let's go ahead and copy that and we're going to put that in the command prompt. We're going to paste. 
Now that opens the command prompt for platform tools. Now we're going to paste. Now we're not done yet because the file is not called recovery.img, so we need to get the name of the file. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back to the platform tools folder where we drug that.img, and then let's just right click that and go to rename. Now we're not going to rename it, we're just going to copy. Go ahead and click and copy the entire thing, including .img. So let's copy that and then click away because we don't want to rename it. And let's go back to the command prompt window and let's backspace everything to the point that we get rid of recovery.img. Leave the space after recovery and I'm going to go ahead and paste that name that we just copied. Press enter. Okay, so after we hit enter, it says sending recovery okay. And then we can go ahead and reboot the tablet. Okay, so that actually installs Multi-ROM successfully. And um, so I've already got Paranoid Android on there. I've already got Ubuntu. Uh, now, in order to get the um, Ubuntu to work correctly, you have to have the Kexec patch um, that I was talking about earlier. So go ahead and hit Miscellaneous, and let's reboot to recovery. And we're just going to flash one more zip. All right, go ahead and go to install. The kernel kexec, for me, it's 4.2 zip. I'm going to go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. And that was successful. So now you're set up to flash anything that requires that kind of a kernel. Uh, you would use that for Ubuntu if you're wanting to install that. And there's a few others that I'm not aware of. I haven't tried out yet. Uh, be sure and watch my other video on how to uh, use multi-ROM to install uh, ROMs and things like that. I give you a step-by-step -step on what you need to do to install ROMs. Well, guys, thanks for watching. As always, it's a pleasure. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Mm -hmm.